everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Yesterday, I mentioned my little bell. I'm going to show you the bell that I'm, I'm mentioning again. This is the bell. And it's a, it says Christmas on the bell. But what I want to say about this bell is it was given to me from... Um, it was given to me in 1978 or 79, somewhere in there, from my charge nurse when I was working at the county home. And the charge nurse used to talk about her daughter all the time and about this really nice guy that she was dating. And I used to think, wow, he sounds really, really good. Come to find out, the guy that she, her daughter was dating was actually my neighbor. And it was really funny because then that neighbor got married to, well, the, the daughter of the charge nurse, they got married, and he is my carpenter. So whenever I would have a job done, that's who I would be calling. And she used to bring her kids to my daycare. And um, my husband works with her, in a sense, and work in the same building. So, and it's really, it was kind of neat. This, it has a long history, but this is the bell that the kids would ring for the angels to get their wings. And I also wanted to show you, I was making this. Oops. I made this just yesterday. It took me two days. It's a hot pad is what yesterday it is. Yesterday and today. Yeah, I finished it today. But what brought this to my attention, this is, this is, it's double. You can, it's double. And it is, it's really, it's pretty. But what I really wanted to make was... I have the book, but I don't know how to do it. And I so I looked online. I'll show you the angels. My sister-in-law, my husband's sister, she made these, and she made a set for all my girls and for me. And they're they're little they're little angels that she made. But I have not found any on the internet. That are like these. Let me fix the bow in the front. Um, they're with the clothespin. It's got a clothespin inside. See, it's got this clothespin inside the little angel dress. And any of that you see that are on, they have this part is a is a crocheted head. Where I would like to find one like this. So if anybody knows how to make these, it would be wonderful. I would. I need a. a tutorial where you you're doing the work and I follow along is what I need because I don't read patterns very well at all even when I'm following along sometimes it's hard but this they're beautiful and she made me she made a whole set of them they're in the bag in the bag ba -da 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 -da. there's an orange one or peach well orange, orange. I'd say orange green look at this and they're they've been in the bag a long time so they're they're kind of flattened but they they're they're angels green and then there's this kind of a pinky color boy they've been in the bag a long time for years and years and years and years and a blue there's five of them. Here's the blue. And they're all a little bit different. Just a little bit. And that's so cute. They are so, they're so pretty. Mm -hmm. The ribbons are cockeyed mm -hmm. because they've been in the bag for so long. I'd have to fuss with them to make them, make them go down. But I have another, I have the other, this is another set. See, they're all in the bag. In the bag. They're so pretty. And the backs. But that's what I wanted to show you. So if anybody knows how to make these, I would love to see a tutorial on it. I've seen the ones where the head is crocheted, where they make the magic ring, and then they make the head, and then they do the rest. But I want one that doesn't have that. I want one that I can put the clothespin in. She gave me the information on the clothespins, too. That this was another another paper that she gave me. 
the clothespin ladies is what they're called. And these are these are different. These are clothespin ladies. Which I don't know how to make them either. But the clothespins she got um, were manufactured by the Foster Manufacturing Company in Wilton, Maine. And she had to write to them for the information that she found. She found the information in the catalog and she had to actually write to them probably to get the clothespins. I don't know. This was back in 1976, I think it was. Or 96. 96, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. We still, were. Yeah, 19. We didn't know each other in 76. <laughs> It was the year I graduated. That, 76 is like the trombones. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it was 96. 1996 she sent me this. So anyways, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing my crochet. What, what did I do with it? My, my attempt to crochet. And I used... That's beautiful. I used cotton um, washcloth material which is easier to see because it is thicker. She used the, the very fine um, crochet thread which is really beautiful work but I couldn't do it. Okay well anyways I hope you enjoyed this little little um, video so I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!